हेलो एवरीबडी वेलकम टू क्लासिक एजुकेशन यूट्यूब चैनल आई एम महेश पुंडीबीज ए फैकल्टी मेंबर फॉर यू पी एस सी एस्परेंट्स एज वेल एज फॉर आई बी पी एस एस्परेंट्स सो टुडे वी विल डिस्कस विल कंटिन्यू विथ एस बी आई प्रीवियस इयर क्वेश्चन राइट सो हियर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस एस बी आई प्रीवियस इयर क्वेश्चन इन द लास्ट वीडियो दैट वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट एस बी आई प्रीवियस इयर क्वेश्चन पेपर देर वी डिस्कस्ड वेन डायग्राम्स ऑन टू पैरामीटर्स right so first we solved a basic question and then the application of that problem how it was asked in the exam okay that we discussed right in the previous video and there i told you in the next class we will discuss about the questions based on three parameters right so here i have taken a question here right which is basic okay and after this we are going to have a question here which was asked in so this question was asked in sbi po mains 2011 okay 2011 okay so it is a old question but it is a good question right so definitely this type of questions are been repeated again the same type of question was asked in 15 right and uh, might be there is a probability that this time it might come okay so it might repeat this time right so we will first discuss the basics of uh, this particular topic okay and after that okay we will solve the uh, previous year question right so it is a very simple thing to understand okay so we will understand it from a very basic level okay so here he is telling me that in a city there are three types of newspapers a b and c 45% of the people read a 55% read b 60% read c 30% read a and b 40% read b and c 35% read a and c and 25% read all the three newspapers right and then he is telling me that if 120 people do not read any newspapers then find the total population of the city right so here basically you can understand right we can understand that there are three types of newspapers okay so how many person are reading a b c both a and b b and c c and d all the three newspapers so all the information is been given to me right but as this is the basic problem here all the information is available i have given all the informations but the questions that come in the examination they there sometimes what he will do he will not give you the complete information there we need to find some of the informations right so first what we will do we will discuss this question okay so let us understand let us say let us assume that this is okay the first newspaper okay that is a let us say that this is the second newspaper b and let us say this is the third newspaper c okay so there are three newspapers here which are been read in a village so in a village three newspapers are been read okay so these are been represented these are the representations of those circles right so let us take this as a so what he is telling me that 45% of the people they read magazine a or newspaper a magazine or newspaper right so they are 45% let us say that this circle let us keep it very simple let us say that this complete circles value is 45% now we assume or don't we that this complete circles value is what it is 45% right fine then he is telling me that 55% of the people they read b so b is nothing but it is the representation of this circle and b is nothing but it is 55% okay so it is 55% that means in simple words you can say that this circle this complete circle which is marked of blue color is nothing but b and it is nothing but 55% or this complete circles value is nothing but 55% so it is 55% right then he tells me that 60% read c that means this circle okay that is red color circle it represents c and it is how much it is 60% okay so it is 60% so this complete circle representation is 60% okay now i have represented all of them now he is telling me that 
30 percent read A and B. Now you just understand it in proper way, 30 percent read A and B. Now when I say A and B, that means can I say that it is this portion which is going to represent, okay, let us say, we will, let us represent it with the red color mark. So, this particular area, if I ask you, it belongs to which circle, then you will say that this particular part, it belongs to, okay, it belongs to A and B. So, the value of this particular area, this particular area's value is been given to me and it is how much? It is nothing but 30 percent. So, this complete value, this red color mark which I have done, it is nothing but 30 percent. Then he tells me that 40 percent read B and C, right, 40 percent they read B and C, that is nothing but this particular part. So this belongs to B and C, right, so this particular part, it belongs to B and C. So this particular value, if you mark it, then how much percent it is? So he is telling that it is 40 percent, so this is 40 percent, right. And after that, he tells me that 35 percent read A and C. That means 35 percent they read A and C. That means if you mark it, so in the green color, okay, this particular part will become, this is the complete representation of what? So this is the complete representation of, okay, A and C. So it is how much? A and C is 35 percent. So this is 35 percent. I hope everything is fine till here. Right? So, it is a simple representation, right? Okay. And then he tells me that 25 percent of the people, they read all the theory, three newspapers. Now, if you look at the diagram properly, then this area, okay, this particular area, it represents, okay, it belongs to all the three circles. Yes or no? This particular area which I have shaded here, okay, if I ask you, then it belongs to which circle? This particular shaded portion, if I ask you, it belongs to which circle, then your answer will be it belongs to all the three circles, right? So, he tells me that 25 percent, okay, or this place area is nothing but it is 25 percent. So, this is nothing but it is 25 percent. So, this value is nothing but 25 percent, okay? So, this particular area is nothing but 25 percent, fine. Now, if 120 students or 120 people do not read any newspaper, मतलब 120 people they do not, they are not interested in reading any of the newspapers, then find the total population of the city. Okay, we will discuss about it, we will come to this point, but let us first, okay, complete this Venn diagram. Okay, let us first complete this Venn diagram. Now, just now I told you that this complete portion is nothing but 40 percent, okay. So, let us represent it if you want. Okay, let us say this black color, this portion, okay, this portion is nothing but, when I said you that this portion is nothing but 40 percent, but if you observe properly, then 25 percent of the space is already occupied, yes or no, okay, 25 percent of the space is already occupied, right, so this is 25 percent. So now, if this entire portion is 40 percent, already 25 percent of the space is occupied, so how much percent is remaining here? It is 15 percent. So, 15 percent of the space is remaining, right? So, what is this 15 percent? It is nothing but, it is only 15 percent of the people, they read only magazine B and C. See, 40 percent of the people, they read B and C. 15 percent of the people, they read only B and C. There is a difference in both the lines, right? So, in this 40 percent of the people who read B and C, those people are also being involved, those who read all the three newspapers, right? But here, 15 percent of the people, they are the people, those who read only, okay, B and C. So, here, I directly write only, okay, B and C. So, only 15 percent, only B and C is nothing but 15 percent. Now, listen to me carefully. Now, in the examination, he will not ask you that how many people are interested or how many people read only B and C. Everybody will tell that it is 15 percent. But in the exam, what question he tells me that how much people, how much percent of the 
population or how much percent of the people do not read only a see here percentage of people who don't read don't read only a don't read don't read only how much percent of the people the percent of the people who do not read only a so what is the answer the answer is 15 percent because listen to me carefully when i told you that there are three newspapers let us say a b and c and in this information what he is telling me that 15 percent read only b and c 15% of the people read only B and C. What does it mean? That means they are reading B and C. What does it mean? It means that they do not read A. So, when I say that 15% of the people, they read only B and C, it also means the same 15% of the people, they do not read only A. They do not read only A. Are you understanding my point? So, here the percent of the people who do not read only A, then what will be the answer? It will be 15 percent, right? It will be 15 percent. So, try to understand this. So, always the questions will be asked which are not, okay, which are not appearing. Matlab, which are not, okay, which you cannot see it on the, okay, Venn diagram. So, those questions are most likely to be asked, right? Fine. Now, let us come to uh, let us come come back to this. Now see here. Suppose if I take this red color area, okay. If I take this particular part, then you see this particular area is being given to me as thirty percent, and you see already twenty five percent of the space is occupied, okay. From this particular part, okay. If you see it properly, then already twenty five percent of the space is been occupied that means there is a remaining space how much it will be so this is 30 percent 25 is already occupied so how much percent is remaining here it is 5 percent that means what is this 5 percent it is the people the 5 percent people who those who read only a and b they read only a and b now if they ask you that how many people of how many percent of the people they read only magazine a and b Matlab, these 5 percent of the people, they read only magazine A and B. It also means that the same percent of the people, they do not read C. Now you see, if you are finding it difficult to understand this, just see here. I will tell you one simplest way to understand this. What is that? You just see here. You just see this particular part. Let me mark it with uh, green only. Okay. So let us say that if you just see this particular portion. Okay, if you see this particular portion, okay, then this is the portion which is 5%, right? This is the portion which is 5%. And what I am telling you, these 5% of the people, they do not read, only see. How to understand this in the exam? Do we need to buy at it? No, exactly no. We need not to buy at it. Just try to understand. You just look at the diagram. You just look at this particular area which is 5%. It is not interfering. It is not interfering with C. It is not interfering with C. If you look at this circle properly, it is not combining. It is just having a only boundary relation. But it is not interfering with. It is not interfering with C. That means this five percent is not interfering with C. It means what does it mean? It means they are not interested in C. That 5% of the people are not interested in C. So, in this way, in simple words, you can say that the same 5% of the people, okay, I have just put an arrow mark here, the same 5% of the people, they do not read, do not read, only, only C. They do not read only C. They do not read only C. See. So, how to understand? Just by looking at the diagram. Now, you see the previous case also, You, if you observe it properly, I will just uh, take this 15 percent with the black, okay, this 15 percent with the black, okay. So, if you see it properly, right, if you see it properly, then this 15 percent of the area, it is not interfering with A. 
okay it is not interfering with the circle with this circle okay it is not interfering with this circle okay it is just having boundary relation but it is not interfering it is not interfering with a so here you can say that the same 15% of the people they do not read okay do not read only a right they do not read only a because it is not interfering with a very simple to understand right so you need not to buy hat it you have to just understand the things okay so from diagram also it is very clear right let us come to the last part okay that is this part so here if you observe then this particular part which has been given to me okay so this particular part which has been given to me it is completely six uh, sorry 35 percent and already 25 percent of the space is occupied so how much percent will be left here 10 percent will be left right so what is this 10 percent it is only okay it is only a and c it is only a and c now in simple words if you want to uh, answer this question then you see i will just mark it with the blue color okay now if you see this particular portion is nothing but it is 10 percent and if you see the diagram properly then it is nowhere interfering with the b that means you can clearly say that the same 10 percent of the people okay the same 10 percent of the people they do not read they do not read only they do not read only b okay they do not read only b right fine so i hope you all have understood till here right you all have understood till here now there are some remaining space which we need to fill right so now see here this complete circle right this complete circle is of a right this complete circle is of a and this complete circles value is 45 percent so from this 45 percent you see already this much space is already occupied yes or no so 25 plus 5 30 and 40 already 40 percent is uh, occupied so how much is left only 5 percent is left right only 5 percent of the space is left and this 5 percent is nothing but it is only it is only a that is nothing but 5 percent of the people they read only magazine a right 5 percent of the people they read only magazine a now see here if i just take this on the another side okay now if i just take it here so we all know that a b and c there are three newspapers and when i say that five percent of the people they read only a what does it means it means that they will read only a and they will not read b and c this is what the meaning is now when he wants to ask you the question he can ask you in it in this way also what he will ask you that how much percent of the people do not read only b and c right so it is nothing but the same five percent of the people so you understand it from here when i say five percent of the people read only a it uh, what is the another statement for it right so the another statement is uh, both b and c they do not read okay they do not read only b and c so the other statement is also important right so the same five percent of the people they do not read so i will write it here so the same five percent of the people they do not read they do not read only b and c they do not read only b and c right so this only word is also important here okay only b and c right now let us come to this part so just now we came to know that this complete circle okay this complete circle is nothing but this complete circle represents b and its value is 55 percent and already some part of the circles space is already occupied right so if we just add those values so 25 plus 5 30 and here it will become 45 so the complete value is nothing but 55 and already 45 percent of the space is occupied that means how much is remaining now 10 percent is remaining right so 10 percent is remaining and what does the 10 percent represent it represents only b that means the 10 percent of the people they read only okay they read only b that means when i say this statement okay only b what does it means they read only newspaper b whereas they don't read a and c 
what is the other statement that we need to understand the same 10 percent of the people they do not read only a and c the same 10 percent of the people they do not read a and c this is the another part which we need to understand right so here i will just write this okay the same 10 percent of the people they do not read okay so they do not read okay they do not read a and C sorry they do not read only A and C okay let me please correct it they do not read only they do not read only A and C okay the same 10 percent of the people they do not read only A and C I hope you all have understood till here right now let us come to the last part of it right let us come to the last part of it so we all know that this complete circle is a c and it is how much okay so it is a 60 percent right so it is a 60 percent and we see so 25 30 40 and 50 already 50 percent of the space is already occupied so the remaining is how much it is 10 percent so what is this 10 percent it is nothing but it is only c that means the 10 percent of the people they read only magazine C or newspaper C whatever it is right so only 10 percent of the people they read only C what does it mean sir okay now you can see here when I say they read only C it means that they do not read A and B they do not read A and B so what you can say is the same 10 percent of the people they do not read okay only magazine A and B they do not read only magazine A and B so they do not read only magazine A and B right so they do okay they do not read only a and b right so the same persons they do not read only a and b so this is the complete representation of the Venn diagram right so this is the complete representation of the Venn diagram when there is three parameters okay when there is three parameters right so first you take the screenshot of this then later again we will proceed some part i have to remove there okay so again we will continue so presently you take the screenshot of this right so we'll just uh, remove this part now what we need to do is okay we have to calculate okay so he is asking me some questions here relatively he is asking me some questions so he is telling me that if 120 people they do not read any newspaper then he is asking me that find the total population of the city so how many persons are there in that city that is what I have to calculate so first what we will do we will add all the values which are present in this Venn diagram. So, we will add all those values which are present in this Venn diagram, okay. So, what all values are present in this Venn diagram, let us add them all, okay. Let us start it from here only. So, 25, okay, 30, 40, 55, okay, 60, 70 and 80, right. So, when I add all the values which are present in the Venn diagram, okay, so it will come out to be 80 percent, right. So, it will come out to be 80 percent. So that means what does this 80 percent represents this 80 percent represents that 80 percent of the people in the city they read at least one newspaper right they read at least one the newspaper or in simple words you can say that 80 percent of the people are there who read minimum one newspaper okay so you can say that minimum one newspaper they read minimum one newspaper okay they read minimum one newspaper or you can say 80 percent of the people they read at least one newspaper right now if we consider the total value as 100 percent then what is the remaining 20 percent right so the remaining 20 percent is those students or those people who do not read any newspapers okay they are not interested in reading any of the newspapers so so remaining 20 percent of the people are those who do not read any of the newspapers and he has given me that if 
120 people do not read any newspaper. So that means, can I say that they are 20 percent? Right? So this 20 percent value is given to me, that is nothing but it is 120. And now he has asked me, find the total population of the city. So the total population of the city or the village, whatever it is, right? So let me consider it as 100%. So 100% is nothing but what? Right? So 100% is nothing but what? So you can see directly here, it is 5 times, right? So 25 is 100. So here also 5 times of this will give me the answer. So 12 is 60 and this 10 is extra so it will become 600 so what is the total okay population of the city it is nothing but 600 so this is how you need to understand a venn diagram now here itself he can ask you different questions right sometimes what he will do just like in uh, next question we will understand that uh, he has not given me this value okay that is he has not given me this 25% value Right, so this 25% value is not given to me. That is, okay, the percentage of the people, those who read all the three newspapers, right, that is not given to me. So in that case, what we need to do, we need to form some equations, okay, then only we will be able to solve it, right. So I hope you all have understood this here, right. Now, what all questions can be formed? Now, what all questions can be formed? He can ask you that how many people okay how much percent of the people they read okay only magazine a how many percent of the people or how many people they read magazine a only magazine a so how many people they read only magazine a that is nothing but five percent so you need to find five percent of this value right so five percent of this value or sometimes he can ask you the question that how many persons do not read magazine a and b only how much percent of the people do not read only magazine okay a and b only a and b only see those people who do not read magazine a and b are the same percent of the people who read only c right this is what you need to understand right so only c so it is nothing but what 10 percent of 600 right so in this way he can ask you any question now sometimes what he will do he will he will try to confuse you right he will try to confuse you how he will confuse you listen to me he will ask you that how much percent of the people or number he can ask you the number also how much percent of the people read only a but do not read b and c now here you will get confused but always keep the focus on the question try to understand that what he is asking me that how much percent of the people read only a See, those people who read only A are nothing but 5%. And then I told you the another statement also. The same 5% of the people, they do not read. They do not read B and C. So he is giving you that statement also in the question. So in this situation, you need not to worry about it. You need to directly face the question properly, read the question properly. So sometimes he will give you the same meaning in the uh, question. Right? So... 5% of the people, okay, 5% of the people, they read only A, it also means, so that I have written it, they do not read only B and C, they do not read only B and C. So, in this way, they can ask you the question. So, they can ask you that how much, how many number of students or how many number of people in the city, okay, they read at least one newspaper, okay, how many number of people they read at least, okay, one newspaper so it will become 80 percent of this value 80 percent of 600 now sometimes what he will ask you he will also ask you how much percent of the people read only two newspapers okay listen to me carefully how much percent of the people read only two newspapers only two only is very specific is right only two is very specific Matlab, you have to tell me those number of people those who read only two newspapers so who are those okay those are these people that is five percent so wh what is this five percent they read only a and b what is this ten percent they read only a and c and what is this fifteen percent they are only b and c so fifteen twenty and thirty so thirty percent of the people they read only two newspapers clear everybody now you understand the difference now if the same question is asking this way 
हाउ मच परसेंट ऑफ द पीपल रीड एटलीस्ट टू मैगजीन्स और एटलीस्ट टू न्यूज पेपर्स एटलीस्ट टू इन द प्रीवियस क्वेश्चन ओनली टू ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड द डिफरेंस सो एटलीस्ट टू मीन्स यू हैव टू इंक्लूड दोज परसेंट ऑफ द पीपल ऑल्सो दोज हू रीड ऑल द थ्री न्यूज पेपर्स राइट सो थर्टी अलॉन्ग विथ दैट यू हैव टू इंक्लूड दिस ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट राइट सो दिस इज हाउ यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड द क्वेश्चन सो सो वेन आई एड दिस फिफ्टीन एंड ट्वेंटी थर्टी थर्टी प्लस 25. So how much it will become? It will become 55 percent. So 55 percent of the people they read at least two magazines, and when only two magazines or only two newspapers, when it is asked, you 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 will you will add only these three values. That is nothing but 30 percent. So I hope you all have got the proper clarity in the questions, right? So this is how you need to understand the questions. So main thing. important thing related to exam main thing related to exam is always understand the other part of the question okay always understand the other part of the question just like i have told you when i say that 15% of the people they read b and c it is available in the diagram it is seen in the diagram it is visible in the diagram but what is not visible the same 15% of the people they do not read only a the same 15% of the people do not read only a so that is the reason okay you need to understand this parts of the question okay you need to understand these parts of the question so i hope you all have understood the uh, question i have you all have understood the concept properly right so you take the screenshot of this we will move to the next question the question that has actually come in the examination right so here i think we don't have space here to solve this question okay let us solve it in a town three newspapers so this question has come in okay sbi po means 2011 okay in a town three newspapers a b and c are published 42% of the people in that town read a right 68% read b 51% read c 30% read a and b 28% read b and c 36% read a and c and 18% do not read any newspapers see here dear students this is a very uh, important thing that that we need to note 18% of the people they do not read do not read do not read so if you had removed this thing if you had told that 18% of the people read all the three newspapers then the center value that we used to solve that would have been easier for us right but he is telling me that 18% of the people they do not read any okay they do, do not read any newspaper so find the percentage of the population of the town that reads all the three newspapers so you have to find the percentage of the people those who read all the three newspapers that means the uh, center value of the diagram we need to calculate right so let us draw this diagram on the next page okay let us draw it here as we are not having space let us say let us say that this is the first newspaper this is the second newspaper and this is the third newspaper right so let us take them in this way so let us say that these are the newspapers that are been right a b and c okay so let us say that this is a okay this is b and this is c right now see here now what he is telling me okay right what he is telling me that 42% of the people in the town they read a okay so 42% read a right so this is this value is nothing but 42% right and after that then he is telling me okay 68% of the people okay they read b so this value is nothing but 68% 
right this value is nothing but 68 percent and 51 percent they read c so this value is nothing but 51 percent okay and after that he is telling me that 30 percent of the people read a and b okay so this value okay so this value is nothing but how much it is it is 30 percent okay it is 30 percent 28 percent read okay b and c 28 percent read b and c so this particular value is a nothing but 28 percent right 28 percent read b and c 36 percent read a and c so this value is a nothing but it is 36 percent okay and then he is telling me that 18 percent do not read any newspaper so this is also an important percent so 18 percent they do not read okay do not read any right they do not read any right so this is the uh, question information that has been given to me here right so let us slightly remove this so it is 30 percent okay so this is 30 percent right so this is 30 percent now see here one thing you understand this value is not given to me that means the value of reading all the three three uh, newspapers the person who reads all the three newspapers how much percent of the people they read all the three newspapers that is not given to me so for that reason what we will do here is we need to find this value right we need to find this value right now one information you see which is been given to me that 18 percent of the people they do not read any newspapers if we consider the entire Venn diagram as 100 percent then if we subtract 18 percent from it right so from 100 percent if we subtract 18 percent of it then how much we are going to get 82 percent that means 82 percent of the people they read at least one newspaper yes or no 82 percent of the people they read at least one newspaper right so let us remove this part okay so we know that that 82 percent they read minimum one newspaper okay one minimum one newspaper they read right so let us remove this part okay let us remove this part so that it will be easy for us to solve the equation now see here if we represent some of the values here like for example let us say that this we represent it as w that means w is the representation of all the three newspapers matlab those people those who read all the three newspapers are w right let us say that this is x x is nothing but x is the number of people those who read only a and b x is nothing but what only a and b and let us say that this is y okay let us say that this is y so y is the representation of the people those who read only a and c okay and let us say that this is z so z is the representation of the people those who read only okay b and c and let us take this as a matlab a means only a okay this is b b means only b and this is as a c c means only c right now when he has told me that 82 percent of the people they read at least one newspaper what is that it is nothing but it is the sum of all the values that are present in the Venn diagram yes or no so in simple words i will write this equation in this way that is a plus b plus c plus x plus y plus z plus w is equal to 82 percent it is nothing but what 82 percent simply if i add all these values which are present in the Venn diagram what does it represents it represents the number of people who read at least one newspaper yes or no so i have done it in a simple way why i am doing is because this value is not given to me try to understand the point this value is not given to me right so here i have written a plus b plus c okay x y z plus w is equals to 82 percent right so that we have got it from the question itself fine now what are equations we can form just see here if he is telling me that this particular portion okay this particular portion is nothing but 30 percent so this particular portion includes what it includes x and y so x and w so can i write it as x plus w is nothing but what it is 30 percent in the same way here also y plus w is nothing but how much it is 36 percent 
right and then here it will become z plus w and this includes what it includes 28 percent right this includes 28 percent this includes 28 percent right now what all things are left now see this complete circle this complete circle's value is what it is 42 percent right so this complete circle's value is what it is 42 percent so we will just write this value see here what I will do here is it is nothing but what it is nothing but a plus this complete circle a plus x plus y plus w is equals to 42 percent which has been given to me right so in the same way this circle b this complete circle its value is what it is 68 so what we are going to do we are going to add this b plus x plus w plus z is equals to how much it is 68 percent right so it is 68 percent now next this value so this complete circle this complete circles value is what it is nothing but what it is nothing but c plus okay y plus z plus w is equals to okay how much it is it is 51 percent right so these are the equations that i have formed now how to solve them very simple let me tell you a very simple way what you do is okay you just substitute these values in this equations right suppose for example here it is x plus w is equal to 30 so x plus w is 30 so you see x and w so this value is nothing but 30 percent so if you take this 30 percent on that side it will become 42 minus 30 percent so 42 minus 30 will become how much it will become 12 so what is remaining here a plus y so that means here I will write a plus y a plus y so a plus y so how much it will become so when you take okay this as on that side so how much it will become it will become 12 percent right so this is 12 percent right now next y plus w so y plus w is available here right y plus w is available here y plus w so y plus w is 36 so if you write 36 here right and if you take it on that side so how much it will become it will become 51 minus okay 36 so what is left here it is c plus okay so it is c plus z okay c plus z so how much it will become it will become 15 percent right so it will become 15 percent fine now after that z plus w okay so z plus w so you can see this value present here okay z plus w so this value is present here and it is how much it is 28 so if you substitute 28 if you send it on that side so how much it will become it will become 40 so that is nothing but b and x okay so b plus x okay it is nothing but how much it is 40 percent okay so it is nothing but how much here w it is 28 if you send it that much so how much it will be 40 percent right so now you just add these values okay so add these values so in systematic way a plus b plus c plus x plus y plus z it will become yes or no x plus y plus z a plus b plus c here it is with x plus y plus z so how much it will become here it will become 4 5 6 67 so here it will become 67 percent right it will become 67 percent right so 67 percent now you observe this equation which we took at the starting right so what he is telling me a plus b plus c x plus y plus z this particular value this much value is nothing but how much it is nothing but 67 percent so this value is nothing but 67 percent so if you take it on this side so it will become 82 minus 67 are you understanding the point so how much it will become there will be only one value left that is nothing but w so there is only one value left that is nothing but w so from this equation what we will get here we will get the value of w that is nothing but 15 percent so that is nothing but 15 percent so what did we understand that this value is nothing but 15 percent see this is one thing you understand this is a mains level question 
right this is a mains level question and whenever mains level questions are asked only one question will not be asked along with that there are some sub questions asked here right so this is one sub question then this is another sub question right this is another okay so there are four to five sub questions which will be asked in the examination right so i hope you all have understood till here right so this is 15 percent so now you see this complete value is nothing but 30 percent so that means from here only you can directly say what is the x value x is nothing but it is 15 percent right x is nothing but what it is 15 percent now you see this value this complete value is what it is 28 so how much will be this it will be 13 percent right it will be 13 percent right so in the same way we can find all these values right we can find the values of all this now let us answer them okay let us not uh, start filling those values wherever it is necessary we will just okay understand those values so let us say what is the first question asked to me that how many percent of the people do not read only see see here what he has asked me that before that i think here there was one question asked yes find the percentage of the population of the town that read all the three newspapers right all the three newspapers that means he was asking you the question okay about this value okay this particular area he was asking so what is the answer here 15 percent okay so 15 percent so 15 percent is there so option a will be the answer so for this particular question so this is the first question okay so what is the answer 15 percent is the answer so those people who read all the three magazines it is all the three newspapers it is nothing but 15 percent so 15 percent is the answer for the first question right fine now second question what he is asking me how many percent of the people they do not read only see see what he is asking me listen to me carefully okay so what he is asking me they do not read only see do not read only see what does it means it means those percent of the people who read only a and b those who read only a and b just see here now in the previous problem in the basic problem i have explained to you now see here this particular part if you look it at properly then you see this particular area okay this particular area is nothing but what it is that area okay where 15 percent of the people okay see this 15 percent of the people what is the meaning of it they read only they read only a and b they read only a and b now suppose if i say suppose if i say a b and c there are three newspapers and suppose if i say that they read only a and b what does it means they do not read c if i say that 15 percent of the people they read only a and b what does it means it means that they are the same percent of the people those who do not read only c so what is the answer for the second question again it is 15 percent only right again it is 15 percent only that is option e okay option e is the answer for the second question right fine let us move to the third question now what is asking me in the third question okay let us say how many percent of the people read only a and c right so how many percent of the people they read only a and c so how many percent of the people they read only a and c what is the meaning of it he is asking me how much percent of the people they read only a and c now see if you are not understanding no he is telling me those who read only a and c those who read only a and c okay the, what does it means they do not read only b okay so a and c so a and c l three so a and c it is here that means he is asking me okay how many percent of the people they read only a and c that means it is this particular area so he is asking me the value of this particular area so out of okay this complete value is 36 and out of this already 15 percent of the space is already occupied here so how much will be uh, remaining here 21 percent will be remaining right so if you just subtract this then how much will be remaining 21 percent will be remaining so that is nothing but option c 21 percent is the answer for this question right fine let us move to this uh, next question okay so what is the question here how many percent of the people read only b and do not read a and c see here he is confusing you 
Uh, this is what the statement I told you in the basic problem when I was explaining you the basic problem. Okay, so there I told you this, right? So what he is telling you? Don't uh, read the second part of the question. Read the first part of the question properly. What he is telling me that how many percent of the people read only B? Read only B, right? Read only B. मतलब when people read only B, it means that they do not read A and C. So that itself he has given me in the next part of the question. And do not read A and C, right? Do not read A and C, right? So if you just look at this question, then you see this complete circle, okay? So if you just look at this diagram, then this complete circle, okay? This complete circle. Okay, this complete circle it represents what? It represents B, which is 68%. And already you see 15 and 15 is 30, and here it will become 43. So already 43% uh, of the space has been occupied. So 15 plus 15 is 30, and 30, and here it will become how much? 43%. Right? So if you just take 43%, then 25% of the space will be remaining. So 25% of the people they read only B. So, what is the answer for this question? It is 25%. So, 25% is available here. So, 25% is the answer for this. Now, here is the last question of uh, today's. So, what is the last question? How many percent of the people read at least one newspaper? Right? How many percent of the people they read at least one newspaper is the question asked to me. Right? So, I think this question everybody can answer it. Okay, this question everybody can answer it. So this question we have got it in the starting itself, where in the question itself he told me that 18% of the people they do not read. Okay, 18% of the people they do not read any newspapers. That means remaining 82% of the people they read at least one newspaper. So this question we would have answered it. Okay, uh, without actually completely solving the problem itself. Right. So what will be the answer? 82% will be the answer. Right, 82 percent will be the answer. Fine, 82 percent will be the answer. Right now, once just once I will just revise this part how to solve this equation. I will tell you. See, always remember, I will tell you in a very simple way. Okay, don't get confused. Okay, how to solve these equations whenever none of this is matlab, when all these three parameters is not given to me. Matlab, this value, W value is not given to me. Always follow this pattern. Every time it will work in the same way. Right? Every time it will work in the same way. First, what you do? First, you find, okay, first you add all the values which are present in the Venn diagram. That means you first find the number of students who read at least one magazine or at least one newspaper find the number of persons who read at least one magazine. So that is nothing but this equation. Okay, So this equation a plus b plus c plus x plus y plus z plus w. Matlab, I have added all the values which are present in the Venn diagram. right? After that what you do? You find those values, Matlab, these values you find Okay, which who, who read two magazines. Okay, This values you form these values. Okay, So this complete value is nothing but 30% which is given to me. So x plus w, so x plus w is this much, y plus w is this much, z plus w is this much. Then you come to the complete circle value. So this complete circle, so this complete circle value is 42%. So in this circle, what all values are there? A is there, x is there, y is there, and w is there. So that only I have written here. A, x, y, z, w is equal to 42%. In the same way, I have written it for B also, the second circle also. This uh, complete circle's value is what? 68%. In this 68%, what all values we have? We have B, X, Z and W. So that itself, I have written it here. Now, what you do, when you write all the circle's value, these circles, okay, these part values, okay, this shaded portion, these shaded portion values, you have written it here. And the complete circle's value, you have written it here. So what you do, you just uh, substitute these values. Okay, wherever they are, so you just substitute those values. Okay, in this, after that you will get this equation. You add all this equation, you will get this, except W you will get there. So just substitute this here, you will directly get the value of W. Right, every time the same pattern will follow. Right, every time the same pattern will follow, just you, what you need to do is, you need to improve your calculations, you have to do it very fast. Clear, so just for your explanation, I have taken some extra time here. Okay, just for your understanding, 
right so these are the two important questions concepts you can say uh, which are favorably will be asked this time in the examination this is just a guess okay so i hope you all have enjoyed the session okay so if you like this session give a like okay if you are uh, interested in joining okay our offline classes because in the youtube it is not possible to teach each and every syllabus here right so if you are interested in uh, joining any of our offline classes for upsc ks or if you are preparing for okay banking examinations the admissions are open okay so you can come and register okay in our offline for our offline batches okay so that's all for the day thank you everybody and have a nice day